Hi right, guys, Martin here, long time comment on this video. Um, I was debating whether I should or shouldn't make it, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the store's open. Um, the grand opening didn't quite go as grandly as we expected. Um, it was, um, yeah, it just didn't work the way I wanted it to. Um, we just didn't get things done, more leaks, more everything, um, and there was people um, travelled up. So apologies publicly um, on video to, to Mel and Dave and Corbin who, who travelled up from Birmingham Stoke um, for a bit of a jolly and they didn't really get it. But thanks for mucking in and helping out guys and appreciate your understanding. Um, but we're open now, we're not fully finished, but we decided, sod it, let's just get the stuff on the shelves, get selling some products and let's get out there. So I'll take you for a tour around where we're up to and obviously bits still need doing. Cabinet in the front there with lights. This one obviously needs lights putting into it, but I've got to run the cable through trunking. So I'll do that over time. Couches are in, some posters in the window. I won't go outside and show you because it's all a bit noisy. We still need to put the skirting boards um, along the edges. It's little things like that that we need to finish off. Um, the couches are all in. Entranceway is clear. It's upside down, but you can see there. Welcome to the back cave. Because um, why not? Um, stairs are done. The carpet's done on the stairs as well. So that's all finished off. And again, you can see where kickboards need doing and, and the TV needs hanging on the wall, and skateboards and etc. All these cabinets need lights in them as well. Here's me holding the camera. Um, cameraman's error. But yeah, some ships in there for X-Wing and it'll all be lit up. That cabinet's actually gonna move down into that corner and then this table will be for X-Wing and pulled out. But yeah, stock is on the shelves. And this is how it looks. There is gonna be blackboards going across the top I'm telling you what's underneath, so there'll be a Star Wars X-Wing board there, a board games board there. Then you go up and up, and there's the ceiling. So I've got the drapes running around the ceiling, which finish it all off nicely. Kiosk's not fully finished being built yet. You can see there's sweets and crisps and things available to purchase there. I need to put all these trim pieces on. Um, got a bat phone. Got a red backbone, because why wouldn't we have? Copy price list. <laughs> and again, it needs finishing off behind there. It's still a bit of a, an eyesore. Coffee machines in with the syrups. This is the trim that I'm on about. So this is going to go right around. We've just got to put more of that on. Tabletop gaming magazine for sale. Everything's for sale. Um, website, by the way, um, still isn't up and running. Um, and reason being, in case I haven't said previously, is there are 7,000 products that I've got to put onto the website, which probably equates to something like 21,000 lines in total. It's a long, 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 long job to do. Um, we're over halfway through loading all the stock on, but we decided to get the physical store open first um, so that we can get it running. Kickboard needs to go across the bottom there. And we've got my pick and mix dice shelf. So these are literally jars full of all the different types of dice. And they're 25 pence a dice or five for a pound. Card games, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, mats, sprays, glues. We've got Dungeons and Dragons Pathfinder. Obviously our stuff's been getting sold, it's gone. And we've got the War Games fridge. Full of drinks, obviously energy drinks, they're a must for gamers, surely. Um, there is a big War Games vinyl to go down the side as well. And then all the tables aren't fully out yet either. Um, but here's the, the length of the shops, so obviously people in playing games, which is good. Um, and they're sat around a six foot by four foot table. So that gives you an idea of the scale of the place and you can see um, the view as you're going back. It's nice and bright, um, but we'll run down this side. So we're carrying on with board games here. Going into Mantic, uh, Dungeon Saga has been really, really popular. Um, Kings of War, um, going through into some pre-loved board games, which have been opened and either played once or twice or just showed to people. Got Infinity, we've got Drop Zone Commander. Uh, we've only got a small selection of both of those games, but we've got access to the full game. Got the entire range of Malifaux. And then we've got Guild Ball across the top. Um, Moving along, terrain needs painting up with this forge wheel terrain um, for a 40k table and obviously Dark Vengeance set there, all painted up for the store. 
Adrian showing somebody how to play Batman, running through a demo game there. I'm talking of Batman, there's the Batman wall. Whole lot of Batman stock. Let's get past them onto a Tau outpost table. Fantastic table. So this is one of the mats that we sell. These these mats are um, same as fat mats. They're from a company called GameMat.eu. Um, they're a slight bit cheaper. Um, and personally, I think the quality is better of these mats. Um, they're more photorealistic, whereas the fat mats tend to have more of a comic book feel to them. But irrelevant to the mats, because yes, we do sell them, and I'll do a separate video on them at some point. Um, uh, a guy who's become a good friend of mine, Paul Tonks, uh, runs a company called Inside Out Terrain. Doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he does have a Facebook page, so please, I'll put a link in below. Please go and check his channel out. Uh, not his channel, his, his Facebook page out. He made all this terrain for me. I um, got, got him involved to make it a, a, a set of terrain. And how stunning is it? It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, really, really nice terrain. Big red wall. There's a picture to go on there. I just haven't stuck it on yet. And then the black and red theme continues on the carpet. Random tower in the middle of a 4x4 table. Um, but hey ho. Um, so we move across and this is the War Machine and Hordes. So again, not the entire range, but a decent selection. Um, and it's all available to order on pretty much 24 to 48 hour um, stock if I've not got it. That's how long it'll take to get in. And then we can get it shipped out to you or you can collect locally. Um, all the battle boxes at the bottom and, and so on and so forth. Selection of the mats that I've just been speaking about. So we've got 6x4s, 4x4s, 3x3s. And there's a, there's a good um, selection of them there. We then move to bolt action. Oh, well, not bolt action, sorry, to Warlord Games, I should say. Let me step back, because there's more than that. Um, so bolt action takes up the main bulk of it. Um, we've got Gates of Antares, which is the new sci-fi version. If you've played bolt action, then Gates of Antares is bolt action in space. Um, uses pretty much the same rule system. Fantastic game, to be fair. Um, something we're going to start pushing probably um mid spring i would have thought next year we'll get some campaigns running bolt action itself world war ii game really simple rule set really good mechanic to it and it works really well and then we've got some of the more historical stuff so we've got um pike and shot black powder and then hail caesar down at the bottom for the more historical side of the games again as with everything else everything's 10 percent off rrp so just get in touch and we can sort you out 15 percent off gw we've then got Loads of terrain in, loads of MDF laser cut terrain. Um, and this is all from TT Combat at the moment. We are going to um, broaden the range into Sarissa and Foreground, hopefully in the new year. But you can't go wrong with TT Combat. They're, they're cheaper than the other two I've just mentioned. And the quality is brilliant. The guys are absolutely fantastic to deal with as well. Um, I'll show you something that they did shortly. And then we go to Battle Foam. So we've then got bits of wood obviously lying around that need, need sticking on and they, they get done over the next few days um, but we've got a decent range of battle foam in stock and then again we can order anything you want in we've then got the door so this is the zombie door for those of you that have seen the movie it's now a hand solo door um, how cool is that coming up into the hobby area so this is going to have all the paint stations made um, TT Combats, I've just said to you, that they're, they're a great company and great guys to get on with. They're that great that after speaking with Louis um, and chatting with him, he supplied all the paint stations for me. Um, so these are for sale, um, but we've got them for the hobby area as well. So the MDF paint station racks, you can get them for Vallejo, for Citadel, or for the, the P3 coat the arms um, style. And obviously we've got all the stools, too many in here at the moment, but you can get 10 to 12 people around these tables. Um, we're going to put another support post in there. There'll be compressors on that back wall um, once the skating boards are in and people can airbrush away. And then we come down to the GW wall. So this is Age of Sigmar and Fantasy. Because we're still playing 8th edition in this store. We're not bound by supported games only. And then there's all the terrain that GW do for both systems at the bottom. Cabinet needs more, more models in it, but we'll get to that. Um, once we've got all the lights in the cabinets, we'll fill them all up, no problem. And then that is the entire range of GW from this angle. So, walk down, you can see it all there. And I say it's all 15% off retail. Um, once you hit £40 worth of purchase, then you, um, 
and get free postage as well. Um, that's EU wide. Um, certain products I can sell outside of the UK, uh, but GW I have to stick within the UK. Um, yeah, within the EU, I should say. There's another cabinet to be built to go in there. And uh, run across, and there's obviously dark vengeance. The Vallejo paint range. Now, at the moment, that's only the air ranges. Um, we will have the colour ranges in as well. And then GW paints, obviously, all down there. Master paint sets and etc. And that pretty much um, shows so the TV to go on the wall there. Hopefully, that will go on this evening. Game of X Wing going on with some of the big ships. Tanta 4, Narada. Huge ships, just for fun. Um, because why not? And then the one I wanted to show you, I'm gonna go back over to the Batman table. Um, we had this made, um, didn't know it was coming. This was um, supplied by TT Combats, um, just as it's a little nice touch. They, they did a little store and sent it to us as a Christmas gift. And we got that. Now, how cool is that? War games, shall we play a game? Big store at the front. Um, that was a nice touch there, um, so brilliant Christmas presents um, thanks to Louis, Jess, Dave and the guys over at TT Combat's um, Troll Trader for that. check their stuff out online um, they've got some great terrain and we've got access to sell it all so check it out online with them and then buy it from us and um, we'll get it across to you um, good, good stuff and that's it so sorry it's been a bit quiet um, but you can see we've been exceptionally busy and there's still a lot to do it's, it's finishing jobs and tidying jobs that we've got to do now um, and as a very final note um, you'll see this plastered all over Facebook and Google Plus we're running a raffle um, raffle tickets are £2.50 for a strip or five strips for £10 you can PayPal to sales at wargamesuk.co.uk um, with your email address and just put the words um, New Year raffle raffle is going to be drawn on New Year's Day and first prize in the raffle is a £75 store voucher um, to be used on any product um, the second prize is £25 and it's as simple as that you just literally just need to get in touch with us and, and let us know that you want raffle tickets and do that so push it and share it out amongst everybody and there you go guys hopefully you've enjoyed it all um, next video of the store will be hopefully complete with the TV on and such like that and I'll see you soon